Hello data lovers and welcome to a new episode of the Data Shaman series. Um, sorry this doesn't look as nice as it used to be because I recently formatted my PC and lost the configuration file of the OBS. Uh, so um, I started all over but I really wanted to do this video because it's super exciting. So uh, as you know we have been seeing a lot from AI, uh, being creative about images, about videos, from text to images to text to videos starting from DALI uh, to, uh, to uh, stable diffusion uh, most recently, like this is like the most recent open source application and guess what, now we are gonna discuss some uh, text to audio or text to mp3 or text to whatever you want to call it music okay so uh, let's get started uh, this came out recently uh, let me try to go to the repo so basically it's uh, by Mubert human AI generative music okay and uh, they have this hugging face space that you can access and getting quickly super uh, super let's say popular and here you can just type in any prompt any text you want just let's say um, I don't know progressive uh, vocal uh, let's say I don't know uh, tribal and some house maybe okay we could add minimal as well so uh, this is the length duration of the soundtrack that's gonna be generated and then all you have to do is just submit okay ready for 30 seconds it should take about okay usually it would take about like 10 to 15 seconds but since many people are using it right now uh, we are in a queue uh, for about nine people okay uh, now we're seventh and so on and so forth so what I did is I installed it locally because I have some nice GPU that I wanted also to test and um, in the meantime so I could make you listen to some of these tracks that I've downloaded uh, let me see they're here in my downloads okay these are some of the first examples trippy punk rock minimal trap progressive dubstep with joe's harp and whistling okay that's one let's try this orchestral cat sounds minimal progressive cat step very chill and calm you can almost dub any voice over this anyway uh, little does it seem to have with um, with cats sounds or cat step but um, so I looked at the code and um, I decided to go deeper into it so let's stop this for a second and see what the app generated after um, I don't know let's say um, maybe a minute so we have our 30 seconds of progressive vocal tribal house minimal so bad okay that's smooth okay we validate getting a little bit tech here okay so the way this works uh, I looked at the code and the way this works I have it right in front of my eyes here so let's look at some code so for people who don't want to go deeper this is where your game ends you just type in get the music and figure out 
what you want to use it for, whether it's relevant, irrelevant, etc. Okay? So the way this works uh, is divided in basically two steps, two big steps. And uh, of course there's much more than this, but to keep it simple, two big steps. Let's say three big steps, okay? Because um, one step is going to be um, the interface, which you see here, very nice and smooth. Behind the interface, behind this uh, cool GUI by Gradio, is uh, the first thing is taking this prompt and trying to translate it into uh, styles that later on are gonna be understood and um, and mixed together so whenever I type progressive vocal tribal these get transformed into something else that is similar somehow in a dictionary or in um, something called BERT, which is the transformation from words to other words that are similar. Okay, so if we look at the utils file in here, we find the function that says get tags from prompts. Okay, and by default uh, you have top three tags and then there's no debugging, so you, even if you run it um, at home you wouldn't see anything so what I decided to do is do a little hack I mean it's not really a hack it's just plug and play basically so uh, you open the app.py and once you understand this function you just go and say debug is true you force it to be true so this wasn't here initially let me make this larger okay debug is true and then um, I want to show the top four tags that are relevant to what I end up typing okay so what we do here uh, now we could run the code okay I don't need well, well I could do this basically because I just want to oh that's something else okay so uh, let me run this so I'm running this locally so now I'm gonna be able to load the GUI which takes in my prompt converts it into some tags and makes a mix of music so now there's a link I open it and it takes me to this but since I already had it open that's it okay so uh, when I put church bells and trap this is what I got oh I totally forgot about my submission so now the cool thing is I don't have to wait anymore it's processing immediately I think it's nine seconds because by default it's 30 seconds no well that's pretty fast that's because I also have a nice GPU uh, not so much GPU memory just takes about two gigs but um, church bells trap I don't know where the trap is maybe it's coming that's awesome at least we have the church bells or the bells <laughs> I feel like I think I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night, guys. Okay, I, I don't know if the trap is coming at any point. I'm gonna forward this. No. Sorry, no trap. Okay, so now we get since we enabled um, since we enabled what's it called the debug mode it just shows me what are the tags that it detected so the tags are bells there's no church trap trap was second but we didn't hear no trap slow ballad and lullaby 
However, we also show the scores. We show the scores for this function that I actually decided to make it the default function, which is the norm. It's the norm loss function. And basically, if you notice here, you notice that the scores for bells are so much higher than everything else. So these basically almost disappear. So we just have bells. Okay? It's just like saying, it's just like saying bells. Full stop. Now, why did it do this? I don't know. I'm going to try to go back to the default function here that uh, makes it uh, do the cosine, simil uh, cosine similarity loss okay which I just had issues with before this is why I uh, switched to this one we have to rerun the code and now we're gonna see some new uh, results are you ready so as soon as this is loaded yep it's loaded we just go back here and then we give it a run. Wow. I can't believe. It took six seconds to generate about one and a half minutes. Now it's going a little bit above. Okay, 13. Ready? Okay. We hear the trap. This is more like Balkan beats. Disco Partizani. Okay, let's see what happened here. I think this is almost looping forever. So, see, this is what happened. The difference is that now bells, trap, and the slow ballad, and even the lullaby are almost within the same order of magnitude, which means they're pretty big, all of them. They're all in. Okay. Uh, let me pause this for one second and uh, try something else. So, the, the cool thing about this is you could come up with almost anything, right? And it's gonna, the transformers, which is the BERT model that they have here loaded, uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, no, it's in the pi file, so vimapp.py, I think I saw it here somewhere, this one, all mini LM version 2, I don't know if we have version 3, but... Uh, or something else but anyway uh, this basically maps whatever you type in even if it's crap to meaningful styles music styles that later on will uh, generate music okay so um, this is similarity one of the issues I had with this is sometimes it was uh, putting too much irrelevant stuff the, the the norm was doing an, a nice cutoff so when I was doing uh, let's say orchestral minimal progressive let's say I don't know house 8-bit uh, bit, uh, bit crush okay and maybe uh, monastic or buddhistic chants let's see what, what this does buddhist chants submit here we go are you ready for this? so this is using the cosine similarity and Music is amazing. Now, 
comment below and let me know if you think that if you think that music is only human uh, can be only created by humans or if AI is gonna wipe us <laughs> out and make better music than us comment below if you think that um, this is the end of musicians or composers careers and comment below uh, telling me if you think that this is not legal or cool or is it somehow stealing the collective knowledge of other artists other musicians there's so much to say here I'm just like blown away by this okay so I don't know what to say so let's look at what this turned into okay ready using cosine similarity orchestral orchestra melodic house and world music makes sense almost the same weights each and every one of them had almost the same power the same impact you know so this is the difference between uh, the cosine similarity and that norm similarity out there uh, so uh, yeah you could type in anything um, and you can do of course another hack I tried but um, kind of quickly regret because it's not made for this way so let's stop this and rather than so let me make this larger rather than transforming your prompt into tags why not use tags Roll tags, you know. So uh, the, I had to look at the code before. So get track by tags means it's taking this function here that's converting your prompt into tags. So why not just take your prompt prompt immediately as it is? Okay. Yeah, I think I I could show you what I'm doing. Uh, and then well we can't put it this way because it wouldn't understand anything of that so we're gonna try to split that into keywords based on comma separation okay can we try this so now we could just ignore what it says in the debug and run it and then and then we just have to guess the right tags, right? I don't know what happens if we don't. Maybe it will return an error. Okay, let's try this one, one, one more time. So, um, so bells we know exists. Um, minimal exists. Now we we can't like come up with crazy things. Uh, how, how about punk funky? I don't know. Let's say funky. What else? Okay, we do have to look to see their dictionary of words. Um, but yeah, let's try these minimal funky and trap okay let's try that so now we are just we're not anymore finding the tags that resemble these we are using these raw as they are ready let's go okay that's pretty trap and funky Minimal as well. Just the bells are in there for some reason. Okay, let's see what would this have been translated into. Okay, it would have done bells, trap, minimal, and minimal techno. See, I don't want minimal techno. I don't want it. Boof, boof, boof. And it would have almost weighed them the same. 
pretty cool, huh? Except no bells. No bells. I don't know why. No bells. Did I type it wrong? Bells. It's the same. This is pretty cool. So uh, maybe the bells will come after. At the end. Maybe. Should make this much longer. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a bell. It's a tiny little bell. Tiny little bell. But it's a bell. Oh, I thought... I thought you were seeing my keyboard. You're not. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. I could show you uh, a little bit my setup. Some other time maybe. I don't want to mess this up more than it's messed up. Okay. Cool. So, so uh, I don't know what to tell you guys. Just go be creative. Make your own tools. Make music, make art, whatever it is. But this is like very powerful. Um, still could could be improved in some ways like for example um, I would improve these loss functions a little bit or these cutoff functions uh, I would yeah maybe this is like a main thing so I think I would go with the raw there's one other thing I wanted to show you so here in um, constants, I think, no, not constants, yeah, in constants, I think they do have some of those strings that you could use. So we're gonna try one more, okay? We're gonna try one more with like uh, happy, how about summer saxophone trap funk. Okay, summer sex, so phone, uh, bells, happy, trap, and keep it minimal with some vocal, I don't know if I, I, I could use vocal, no, doesn't, maybe, 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 I don't know. Um, there's minimal house though okay maybe let's try that submit okay summer saxophone bells happy trap minimal house we'll see we'll see where this takes us ready oh yeah that's groovy no saxophone yet I like it, it's happy, it's danceable. Minimal house, I see that. Okay, maybe the bells. No way. <laughs> no way, we have vocals. I don't know if, if the voice, if the sound, if the lyrics make sense. I, I would guess not. One day we could have lyrics. Wow. This could totally not make sense at all and be sound really nice. I mean, pop music lyrics okay guys I think this is it if you want to download these tracks like this
this one. I, I like it. I like it. And um, why not check this out also? So now you could even generate video clips, entire video clips, with a mix between the deform stable diffusion. I think this is a little bit outdated, version 0 0.5. Uh, not sure though and the Mubert that we just discussed just want to see which 1.4 does it does it use 1.4 I don't know anyway uh, just make sure it uses 1.4 or 1.5 but uh, this is crazy so before I leave you guys I just want you to check out uh, this other channel let me see YouTube and just type in Alan Watts Entertainment okay here it is sorry you don't have to type in anything it's over here so I'm a big fan of Alan Watts I made a channel with AI generated images and uh, Maybe thoughts. Okay, guys, have fun and enjoy the rest of your lives. And uh, stop recording.